What's going on everyone? This video will serve as a VPN quick start guide for users overseas or those that may want the added security behind using a VPN. A VPN can do several things. It can unlock content that would otherwise be region blocked. It can also provide encrypted traffic in order to keep your data secure and prevent your ISP from spying on you. For this video, we are going to be targeting the first scenario, which is to unlock region block content. I will be using a Fire TV because that is a popular device that I always get questions about. However, this tutorial will pretty much work on any device. Just replace Amazon's App Store with your specific device App Store. So before we get started with the VPN, I will show you what happens when you try to access some apps such as Sling TV and Prime US. Basically, you get error messages, and if you go on Prime, this is pretty much what you will see. So you get messages such as service area restriction. Now, as a side note, Prime will be available in different regions, but since my account is US based, that is why I am getting the region restriction message. Also, Netflix will pretty much work in any region, but content might be limited. There are a lot of VPN services out there which you can easily install by going to the search bar, typing in VPN and selecting one from the list. For this video, I will be taking a look at three different VPNs and showing you which one might be the go-to choice. First of all, we're gonna talk about some of the pricing and how many devices you can have. So with private internet access, you can pretty much pay up to $39.95 a year, and it allows you to have 10 devices simultaneously. This is one of the cheapest options that I found, and I actually have been using it for several years. Next, we have IP Vanish, which runs you $77.99 cents a year and it gives you unlimited devices simultaneously. Lastly, you have ExpressVPN, which is probably one of the best VPNs you can get, but this one runs you $99.95 a year and has up to five devices simultaneously. Most of these VPNs will also allow you to install it on a router, so then it doesn't really matter how many devices you have. The router will pretty much function as one device and anything you connect to it will be encrypted. Again, there are a lot more VPNs that you can get. These are just three that I tried and they seem to be pretty good so far. If you have any other recommendations, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to check it out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with some of these VPNs. First of all, um, Netflix pretty much works with any of these three services. You can pretty much change the location in order to get content that may not be available in your region. Otherwise, you pretty much get content from your local region if you are not using a VPN. Because of that, we're not going to be showing Netflix on this tutorial because it pretty much works no problems. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with Hulu. If you try using Hulu with private internet access, you're pretty much going to get a proxy error, and I'll show you here what that looks like. So as you can see, private internet access is not the best VPN to get if you want to use Hulu. Also, IP Vanish is also one that does not work with Hulu. With that one, for some reason, it always logs me out of my account whenever I try to use it. So if you want Hulu, avoid these two. I will show you which one to get instead. We're going to go ahead and disconnect from private internet access. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to ExpressVPN. Now, just for safe measure, we're going to go ahead and force close Hulu so that the changes will take effect. So with ExpressVPN, I can continue watching Kitchen Nightmares on Hulu without any problems. If you find yourself having issues or you get messages like proxy error, I recommend going into ExpressVPN, disconnecting, reconnecting, and then you force close Hulu and try it again. It pretty much always works when it happens to me. Next, we are going to be taking a look at Sling TV, which pretty much also works with all three of these VPN services. So here we have it working with ExpressVPN. I'm going to back out and show you the other two really quick just so you can see that it does work.
So there you have Sling TV working with private internet access. And lastly, Sling TV working with IP Vanish. Lastly, we're going to take a look at Prime US with these three different providers and see which one is the right one for you. So we're still connected to IP Vanish. We're going to go ahead to watch one of my videos here. All right, so with IP Vanish, we get service area restriction. So if Prime US is what you want, avoid IP Vanish. We're going to try private internet access. So as you can see, Prime US works on private internet access. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and try ExpressVPN. And there you have it, no issues with ExpressVPN and Prime US. All right, so which VPN is the best one for you? So I'm gonna basically summarize it and let you choose the right one for yourself. If you're only interested in Netflix or Sling TV, any of the three VPNs will work. Again, Netflix doesn't exactly require a VPN, but you do get access to other content outside of your region. If you're interested in Netflix, Sling TV, or Prime Video US, you want to go with private internet access or ExpressVPN. IP Vanish will not work for Prime, so take note of that. If you want all of the above plus Hulu, you have to go with ExpressVPN. The other ones do not work with Hulu, so that's pretty much your only option. We interrupt your programming for this special announcement. Basically, I was searching around for Black Friday deals and I came across NordVPN. They had a special going on for $59 a year, so I went ahead and signed up and I can say that it works with all these services, Hulu, Sling TV, and Amazon Prime US. So if you're looking Looking for another alternative, NordVPN seems to be working quite well. And one last time, if you're having any issues with these, I recommend you disconnect the VPN, you reconnect it, and then force stop the app in order for the changes to take effect. That's pretty much it for this video. Hit the like button if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.